What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today is that day. Yes, this right here is the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh! GX collection which I'm going to be showing off in today's video. Now it's not of course completely done yet but this is just an update to where it is at the moment. I calculated this and I think this is worth around $10,000 kind of crazy it's gonna be worth a lot more hopefully when it's all done but if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content I do not want to keep this intro way too long because I want to get right into this I'm super excited to show this to you guys and I hope you guys enjoy so with that on to the $10,000 Yu-Gi-Oh ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh GX collection video all right let's go all right so here it is the binder i want to get a new binder though i actually want to get a customized binder that says like duelist academy or something on it i don't know something gx related but here it is the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh gx collection binder Ooh, i'm gonna open it up i have a couple more things that are not in the binder but uh, i'll show you guys that as well in a little bit here we're gonna start things off by opening up oh bro i love looking at this i love opening it up because every time i look at it i'm like damn this is beautiful all right so the first page over here you guys can see it's not finished so i'll explain this to you guys for anyone who hasn't like watched the old one or haven't seen the old one pretty much all the heroes are in here in the order they appeared in the anime so as you guys can see it's, a, it's in like this order so that means these ones are missing right i believe this one's rampart blaster uh, i can't remember which ones are the order right now but i do want to say that i do have a google docs or a google sheets it's going to be linked in the description below if you guys have any of these cards let me know hit me up on instagram or something like that because i am trying to finish out this collection but let's get back to the collection now because i've been talking way too long this is a first edition ultimate rare elemental hero flame wing man now for anyone who does know about the ude and the flame wing man and all that stuff this is actually a gold stamp flame wing man so for anyone who doesn't know flame wing man came both as a gold stamp and as a silver stamp the silver stamp is known as the uda fake it's not really a fake but it's more of a replica because uda wasn't supposed to print those cards but this is the gold stamp which is way more valuable than the silver stamp so yeah this card's absolutely stunning then of course we have i'm not going to go through every card one by one because of course some of these cards are also in like lower rarity but some of them like this one bro <laughs> elemental hero thunder giant ultimate rare first edition by the way this is all max rarity collection so this is not going to be like you know just any hero cards this is maximum rarity the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh gx collection here so you guys can see the steam healer the mariner the uh the electrum over here now we move on to this page Oh, this page, is, this page is so pretty, bro. So is this one, honestly, but this page is so pretty. So this is when we get into like the Neos era kind of thing. So we have an Aqua Neos here. This one, however, I'll tell you guys this. This one, however, is a silver stamp. It's not a gold stamp. And uh, I want to get a gold stamp soon. I just can't find them anywhere. They're like impossible to find gold stamps. But yeah, so I have a silver one just holding its place for right now. Then we have a Flare Neos. We have a Glow Neos first edition. We have an Air Neos first edition. This one is probably my favorite card in my collection. Well, maybe my second favorite card in my collection. But in the binder, this is definitely my favorite card right over here. Elemental Hero, Air Neos, Ultimate Rare First Edition. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, they actually can't reprint Air Neos. And the reason this card has no other reprints is because of licensing issues, funny enough. Because there's a British airline, I believe, called Neos Air or something like that. So, uh, yeah, they can't reprint this card. But this card is absolutely stunning. Oh, baby, this is one of my favorite cards. It's actually, probably my favorite card in my collection. I can't lie. Every time I look at it, I'm like, damn, this is beautiful. So we move on to this page over here. Now we got a nice Plasma Vice over here. Plasma Vice is actually from Glass, so it's not the Megaton. So you guys have to keep in mind, or not Megaton, what are they called? Collector's Tins. Plasma Vice came as a Secret Rare twice. It came in the Collector's Tin and the original First Edition Secret Rare. So this is obviously the First Edition Secret Rare. Also, you guys can see that Hollow Bleed on camera. Like that Secret Rare is everywhere on the card. This card's absolutely stunning. Got this for a really good deal. Actually, I think I won it on auction. And then over here, we have one of my other favorite cards and that's the elemental hero chaos neos uh ghost rare first edition funny enough i'm just kind of noticing that the uh the name is a little bit off here this is kind of like it's not really a misprint but i would say this is kind of off it's kind of not centered properly but anyways this card is absolutely stunning i do want to get the misprint of this where it says rainbow dragon but you guys don't even understand how much that card is right now at the time when i was gonna get it i remember at one point i was gonna get it i think it was around 300 ish dollars and i was like no way i'm paying i'm not paying 300 or 350 dollars for it now it's like a thousand dollars in near mint condition so i should have bought it at three hundred dollars but uh yeah this card's absolutely beautiful just the original chaos neos ghost rare i'm not a big fan of ghost rares but this one works i'm gonna be honest this one works so here you have some other stuff and again this is all in order right so i'm missing um i i think what is it a dark neos and 
uh, Grand Neos. I think those are the two that I'm missing here. Um, and then I don't know exactly what the order is here, but then yeah. So then here we get into a page where I don't think anything actually fits into this page. But the first thing I add here is a Neos Wise Man. Now this is a misprint um, from the Korean. This is Korean only, by the way. And essentially in Korea, this card in the anime was a fusion monster, but in the TCG, they printed it as an effect monster, but Korea accidentally misprinted it and put it as a fusion monster over here. So this card's absolutely stunning. It's a first edition Korean card, doesn't come very often, and this is very hard to come by, to be honest with you. And then of course we have a Neos Knight. This is, I think, the last card in the whole binder because uh, Neos Knight was from the movie, which came out after the GX series was over. So yeah, Neos Knight. This card's absolutely stunning as well. Technically, Jaden did use it in an anime, even though it was in the movie, so it still counts. And then here's what I was talking about earlier. So here's another Elemental Hero Flaming Man Ultimate Rare First Edition, but this one is Silver Stamp. It's actually not a Gold Stamp, as you guys can see. But this is actually one of my first cards, and I'll be honest with you, this was the first card that I picked up before I even knew the difference between Silver Stamp and Gold Stamp. This was the first card I picked up, and this is the reason why I got into collecting. So... I can't even lie to you. Like this card, even though it's a silver stamp, it, it holds a very special place in my heart because this is the reason why I'm, all of this is happening really. The reason why I'm in Yu-Gi-Oh, the reason I'm doing my YouTube channel, all of that stuff, right? So here you guys can see, we get into the elemental heroes. Now these aren't just any comments. These are all elemental hero collection, I believe is what they're called. Yeah, EHC one and EHC two over here. The only one I'm missing is the bubble man. But the reason I don't have the bubble man, it's, there's two reasons for it. One because a part of me wants to get the EHC to match the set because then these are all Elemental Hero Collection. But another part of me wants the Ultimate Rare First Edition because I think technically the Ultimate Rare First Edition is like more rare and I think it's a higher rarity technically. So I kind of want the Ultimate Rare First, but then I'm like, oh, but then it disrupts kind of the flow. But here you guys can see the uh, the secret rares from EHC is absolutely beautiful. One of my favorites is actually the Clayman over here. Clayman's beautiful as well. Clayman, you know what's funny is Clayman, I feel like is the card that has been reprinted the least. So it's actually funny enough, I think the most expensive of the uh, the six of them. This is, I'm pretty sure, the most expensive one. And then we have a Blade Edge over here. This card's absolutely beautiful. Ultimate Rare First Edition Blade Edge. Ooh. Guys, oh, I keep looking at these. I get excited. I hate it. I hate to say it. Like, shiny cardboard does this to you. So anyways, then you go over here. This is actually one of the, the newer, I think, things in my collection. And this card's absolutely beautiful. Actually, it's not new. It's technically old. But you guys haven't seen this in a long time. So uh, yeah, this is the Wing Table 11 time Ultimate Rare First Edition. This card's extremely expensive, extremely hard to come by. I got it on trade, actually, funny enough. And the Wing Karibo, the regular one, Ultimate Rare First Edition, is super expensive as well. I can't even find them, but they're extremely expensive. So I'm like, man, like this this binder, I don't even know how much it cost me. I didn't calculate. Usually I calculate. Maybe with what you guys are going to see at the end, well, I don't want to say 10000 but probably close to $10,000. It is an expensive binder. So the only one here that I'm missing is like Aqua Dolphin over here, but I, I have the rest in Ultimate Rare First Edition. Glow Moss was like actually like sharked here. He should have definitely been an Ultimate Rare. Sad that he's the only common, but Grand Mole is an Ultimate Rare. These are all Ultimate Rare First Edition, of course. Here are where all the Chrysalis monsters are going to go. I don't have a lot of the commons. I need to actually start picking up a lot more of the common stuff because I have, you guys can see, like I have the expensive stuff here, but I don't have any of the common stuff really. So like the cheaper stuff. Here we have two beautiful cards. The Terror Incarnate, first of all, is one of my favorite cards. This card's absolutely beautiful in Ultimate Rare First Edition. But funny enough, and Ultimate Rare, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, Ultimate Rare is my favorite rarity. But this card right over here, the Ultimate Nightmare, is absolutely stunning in Secret Rare. I think this one you guys can see has a little bit of a hollow bleed as well. But this card is absolutely stunning. So, man... Well, actually, I'm going to be honest with you, though. And looking back at it, uh, PTDN, which was what, Phantom Darkness, had really nice secret rares. Dark, Dark Greffer, I think, was a secret rare from there as well. And so was Dad. So, I mean, this is a really good set. And then here we have the Neos Wiseman, of course, which was printed in the TCG, again, as an effect monster. Crossroads of Chaos, I believe, first edition. Yeah, Crossroads of Chaos, first edition, I believe. Neos Wiseman over here. Then there's nothing really that goes over here. There's, that's kind of it for the monsters. I think Prisma is here or I can't remember, but there's something else here, I believe. And then these are just some tokens I have. This is a field center from Japan. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Day token, and then some Japanese tokens. I think there's one more token that I'm missing actually, so I gotta add that here as well. Then we move into the spell cards. We are missing some here. I actually can't remember what order they go in. I don't know what we're missing here. I can't remember. But anyways, here we have a Transcendent Wings, obviously Ultimate Rare First Edition, absolutely beautiful card. We have the Feather Shot Ultimate Rare First Edition. These, oh, these are beauties. Skyscraper and Skyscraper 2 Ultimate Rare First Edition. Bro. bro, I hate, like, every time I look at it, I'm like, wow, this is beautiful, bro. I don't I don't take this binder out too very often, but these are absolutely beautiful. The Skyscraper specifically, Skyscraper 2 is cool, but Skyscraper specifically, 
I mean, this, I told you, Flame Wing Man's my favorite card of all time, right? And uh, Skyscraper here is just, th to see this card, like, this is what got me into Yu-Gi-Oh! Skyscraper and Flame Wing Man are what got me into Yu-Gi-Oh! Speaking of Flame Wing Man, though, I'm going to show you guys something here that's not in the binder. And it's actually a PSA 9 EHC1 Elemental Hero Flame Wing Man. And I'm not into the PSA graded game too much just yet. I do want to get into it a little bit more. But this card's absolutely beautiful. I saw it come up, and it was actually... It went for pretty cheap. I bought it on, uh, not on auction, but I think someone was selling it. I think the person who was selling it, funny enough, is a Pokemon guy. And I don't think he knew the values of the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So I got this off him. He actually had a couple more, but unfortunately when I messaged him, the other ones were sold. Uh, but yeah, the Flaming Man, this one right here, absolutely beautiful. PSA 9. And this card I love. So anyways, I'm just saying that because I brought up the skyscraper thing. So I'll just put this over here for now. So yeah, we got that. Actually, I'll move this out of the way because uh, let me go back over here. Here we have uh, H. Funny enough, I'm missing an E. I don't even know how I'm missing an E. I actually had one in here for the longest time, but I realized it was unlimited edition. I was like, oh my God, it's not first. So I got to find a first edition. But so here it's like H E R O. Then you guys have the Hero Flash Ultimate Rare First Edition. Then the Fifth Hero Ultimate Rare First Edition. So it kind of all fits together. Here you guys can see some of the equip skills. We got Spark Blaster, Cyclone Boomerang Ultimate Rare First Edition. Light Laser. You guys might be like, what does Light Laser have to do with Elemental Heroes? Jaden actually used this card on his Shining Flare Wingman in one episode, I think. So technically, it's a Jaden card. This is in here. Now, I don't have every single Jaden card in here. Like, I feel like I'm missing stuff like Rottweiler or Dark Catapulter. I feel like those are the names. Those cards might get put in here eventually, but at the moment, they're not in here. We got Bubble Shuffle, Ultimate Rare First, Bubble Blaster, Bubble Illusion. Bubble Man got a lot of love in, in the anime. Bubble Man got a lot of love. Now, this is one of the newer editions, and I absolutely love this card, Neo's Force. I love how this card looks. I, I don't know. I'm not even a big fan. Like, I was more of a fan of the original hero stuff, more so than the Neo stuff. But this card is absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, we got that. And, the, again, there's going to be a lot of commons in here that are missing. Just because I just don't have them just yet. But, yeah, there's a lot of commons here. Just more so the Neo Spatian stuff. Here we have some stuff here. Actually, we're missing a hero signal. But the hero barrier is beautiful. This card's absolutely stunning. Yeah, so hero barrier. But a mirror gate, ultimate first edition, edge hammer, uh, clay, clay charger, I think. Uh, I think we're missing some traps here as well. But again, like I said, I didn't get into the cheaper stuff. There's a lot of cheaper stuff that I just never picked up because I was so focused on like the, the nice shiny stuff. So here we get into the evil heroes. I'm missing the ultimate rares, sadly, but I do have the other fusions. We also have the alternate artworks for the three that came in ultimate artworks. Did did um did Clayman ever come in an alternate artwork? I know I know in the TCG there is no alternate artwork, but I can't remember if in the anime uh Clayman also had an alternate art. But yeah, anyway, so these are all Secret Rare First Edition. And then there's going to be some more Evil Hero stuff here that I'm missing. This is a Malicious Fiend Ultimate Rare First Edition, of course. This is the Destiny Hero stuff. So now we're getting into the Destiny Hero. So you guys saw a bunch of pages of just Elemental Hero stuff. Here is an Ultimate Rare First Edition Dreadmaster. This card's absolutely stunning. Beautiful card. I actually got this in a collection a long time ago. Yeah, it was, it was a pretty good deal. I think it was a pretty good price. I got it from my friend, actually, funny enough. Here's a Diamond Dude as well, Ultimate Rare First Edition. Destiny Hero stuff is absolutely stunning, man. I'm not gonna lie, this is absolutely stunning. So here we have some more. We have a Dasher Ultimate Rare First Edition. Everyone talks about Dasher now because how meta he is. But uh, look at Dogma, bro. Dogma Ultimate Rare First is absolutely stunning as well. Ooh, I know this is gonna be like a longer video. I'm sorry for that, but uh, it's a big collection. It's a big collection. So here uh, we get into some more of the stuff. I mean, Clock Tower Prison Ultimate Rare, Dark City, Cyclone Blade Ultimate Rare. Just Destiny Hero stuff, you know, generic stuff. Got some more Destiny Hero stuff. It's funny how they made these two Ultimate Rares. They made some random Trap Cards Ultimate Rares. Now we get into the Crystal Beast stuff. So this is where I was kind of like, oh my god, I need to start collecting things other than the Hero stuff. Because a lot of the stuff that I've been picking up, and I guess most of the expensive stuff is like the Elemental Hero and Destiny Hero stuff. Cyber Dragon stuff is way out of, like, that stuff is so expensive. Like, extremely expensive. But, um, yeah, so I haven't gotten into that. But some of the cheaper stuff here, which is Crystal Beast, the only really expensive card from Crystal Beast, I believe, is the Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon. Even the Rainbow Dark Dragon has a little bit of value but it's not that bad uh but yeah the ghost Ray rainbow dragon is all i'm missing really for the expensive stuff but again i'll end up finishing these this is funny enough though it's not a, it's not one of the super rares because they all got printed as super rares in legendary collection this is actually a hobby league and hobby league uh, ruby carbuncle is absolutely stunning so yeah so i'm missing a lot of these funny enough but i feel like that's not going to be too hard to complete this i actually was in the most recent edition which is the ancient city rainbow ruins ultimate rare first edition we also have the rare value ultimate rare first edition which is absolutely stunning. Now that I think about it, I probably should have finished this before because with the Crystal Beast Structure Deck coming out, I feel like a lot of these prices might have gotten, might have gone up. So uh, I hope not, though. I hope maybe I can afford this. 
But anyways, <laughs> yeah, here's a beacon, which is another hobby league card. Yeah, maybe I should pick this up a while ago. I don't know. Anyway, so then we move on. Okay, so we move on here to some of the stuff that I have. Again, I haven't finished too much of the other Jack stuff, so it's going to start to die down slowly. But here's one of my favorite cards, uh, Cyber Dark Dragon over here ultimate rare first edition there's actually a pretty big foil shift i don't know if you guys can see that but there's like a pretty big foil shift here it's kind of like a little misprint looks cool though but the cyber dark keel uh cyber phoenix ultimate rare proto cyber dragon ultimate rare these are all ultimate rares actually funny enough there's a lot of cyber there's a lot of expensive cards in cyber dragon cyber dragon is very expensive and then we have the roid stuff i loved cyrus growing up i used to love cyrus so uh this is kind of funny but yeah we have a jumbo drill Ultimate Rare First Edition. I thought Cyrus was actually one of the most hilarious characters in any Yu-Gi-Oh anime ever. Like, this guy was so funny. I don't know. Uh, we have the Stealth Union, which was the most recent pickup. This is, of course, Ultimate Rare First, Ultimate Rare First. So, yeah, I don't know. A bunch of expensive stuff. Here, ooh. So, this page is going to look really nice. Or it's not going to be a page. It's going to be a lot more than a page once I get it organized. A lot of this stuff at the end here is actually not organized because it's just kind of like, I don't have any of it, really. So, I'm like, I'm not going to... Put it in order and there's going to be big gaps between them so right now they're just kind of all in here the chaz it up section is going to be super super nice so here's ojama king ultimate rare first edition of course this is one of my favorite cards in my collection this one i just i don't know i find this absolutely beautiful vw xyz dragon catapult cannon ultimate rare first edition yeah this this is really just like the epitome of beauty like, this is just such a beautiful card. <laughs> but yeah, the Chaz It Up collection is going to be super, super nice. This actually, so I do have an Ultimate Rare as well, but this is the Ultra Rare First Edition. This one, I think, is higher rarity than the Ultimate Rare, even though I know the Ultimate Rare is OTS. Uh, this is original. Original First, to me, is going to be always more, like, higher rarity, unless it gets a big upgrade, of course. Like, obviously, if it's a common, it goes to an Ultimate Rare, completely different. But, you know, Ultra Rare First is always going to be the original, right? Here we have some ancient gear stuff which i guess i don't have any of really outside of these two i mean they're both ultimate rares which is kind of nice we have the ancient gear castle and the ancient gear beast ancient gear is actually kind of expensive as well mostly just because the ancient gear golem is so expensive the rest of the stuff is not too expensive obviously most of it is commons and rares but uh yeah the ancient gear stuff just because golem is super expensive so here this is one of my like favorite archetypes i just found this archetype so cool in the anime which is the arcana force and we have zawardo over here this card is absolutely i'm not even gonna do my jojo's voice but this is absolutely beautiful card i love this ultimate rare again everything here is max rarity right i'm not gonna i'm not picking it up if it's not max rarity so uh yeah we have a volcanic doomfire ultimate rare first edition shout out pain we got a we got a couple more ultimate rares actually we got the slicer and as well as the accelerator over here which are both ultimate rare first edition again these are not organized in any particular order it was just mostly the hero stuff that's organized so is the destiny hero stuff the destiny hero stuff is organized in a particular order as well um other than that it's, it's nothing really is so here's like some miscellaneous stuff that i have that i don't know where i'm gonna put it or what i'm gonna do with it this is cyber end dragon misprint which came from the structure deck most recently i mean the card's nice I, I feel like it deserves to be there um this is when i start to collect the snake stuff you guys saw i don't have any of the snake stuff but venomanaga comes as a secret rare venomanon i think is a is an ultimate rare this is a collector's rare venomanaga so uh yeah this card's really nice i just decided to pick it up because i mean it's a gx card it's it, but again these are like kind of miscellaneous because i don't know where i'm gonna put these the ultimate rare ubel is absolutely beautiful here ubel only came as a super rare in the tcg but in the ocg they got an ultimate rare version which looks super super nice of course here we have this one's actually one of my favorite cards we have a japanese uh sorrel soul of eternity what's soi again shadow of eternity shadow of eternity ultimate rare uh come on this card's absolutely beautiful as well we got a korean ultimate rare rainbow neos which actually never came to the tcg as an ultimate rare it was a secret rare and a ghost rare which i think i have the ghost rare in an unlimited but i don't have a first edition ghost rare so yeah but here is the uh the ultimate rare which i think is just absolutely beautiful what else is in here that you guys might want to see here oh this is actually really nice this is an avion can you guys spot the misprint on this card this is actually a misprint so it's korean elemental hero avion there's no attack and defense so it's a misprint, but there's no attack on defense on this card. So again, some of these cards are just really cool, like misprints and really cool, just things that really don't have a spot yet. Maybe I'll find a spot. So these two are metal figure uh, promos. Uh, these two are kind of affordable, but some of them are really expensive. Uh, I think the, it was the uh, Flaming Man's very expensive. The Burstinatrix is very expensive. The Bubble Man's very expensive. Cyber Dragon is pretty expensive. So yeah, a lot of them are really expensive, but some of them are cheap. Thunder Giant, I think, is pretty affordable too. Here's some of the manga stuff. So here's a lot of the hero stuff that's just manga stuff. So uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys really want to see this. I think it looks really cool. It looks really pretty. Here we get into some not Jack stuff, of course. So here's like... I have like two ultimate rare in terms. These are kind of like more like staples here at the end. This I want to actually really start collecting in the future. I want to start collecting the assault mode cards in max rarity. I really like how the assault mode cards look. And they all come, like most of them come as ultimate rare or uh, ghost rare. 
So I really like them. So this one's an ultimate right here. So I think these cards are just beautiful. I'm going to collect them. I might put these in a separate binder in the future. As of right now, they're in here. But yeah, the imperms. I only have two imperms. I need one more. But yeah, I have two ulti imperms here. Oh, this is a beautiful page right here. This is like a little Yugi page over here. We got the Maggie Mag. Is Maggie Maggie Magician? Is that the name? I think it's Maggie Maggie. Something like that. This card's absolutely beautiful. Funny enough, I actually got this. So, uh, <laughs> Hear me out. So I went to the locals one time and they had this card and I was like, whoa, this card kind of looks cool. At the time, I didn't even know what it was. Uh, this was a long time ago though, right? But at the time, I didn't even know what it was. I'm like, oh, this kind of looks cool. And they're like, yeah, we got it in a collection. We don't really know what to do with it. So I was like, how much do you guys want for it? And they're like, I don't know. It's Japanese. It's not really playable. Uh, do you want to do like a dollar? And I was like, I have 50 cents. And they're like, sure. So I picked this up for 50 cents. So uh, this card's absolutely stunning over here. Then we got the, of course, the Arcana, Dark Magician, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. Here's what I was talking about. I have the. Uh, the ultimate rare level 10. I want to pick up a lot of these. This card's absolutely stunning, I think. And then we have the ultimate rare Chaos Emperor Dragon. This card's absolutely stunning as well. I have this one double sleeve, funny enough. What else do we got here? That's some. I mean, these are first edition from the structured decks in Portuguese, I believe. Yeah. And this is a ultimate rare first edition Stardust Dragon. I don't even know if there's going to be a spot for it in the future because I'm not really into the synchro stuff, to be honest with you. I was not, I was not a huge 5Ds guy. But this card is just stunning. And I think I got this. Yeah, so you guys can see here, there's like a little pen mark. And so the guy I got this from, that he was like, oh yeah, it's damaged. I was like, okay, how much do you want for it? And I think I traded like 15 bucks worth of value for it. So I was like, yeah, so I got that. We got a Lodge in, super rare. I need to find a uh, the, the lamp. And the reason for that, it was called Ancient Lamp. Uh, my name is Aladdin in real life, so uh, I want to pick this up. This is actually not in English, this is in German. I might want to get an English one in the future, but RPO1 is very expensive to pick up, right? That's just a side note. We have a Bountiful Artemis from OTS. Here we have another, like a bunch of other OTS Ultimate Rares. We have the Shizuku, Ayate, Link, Spider, Decode, Colossus, which if this ever comes off the band list, I want to pick up more because if this ever comes off the band list, I'm, I'm literally going to be rich. Uh, we have some um, just ultimate rares here. Judgments over here, pretty expensive, I guess. I mean, uh, nothing else. Is there anything here expensive? I know there's Dooku's a few, uh, like a hundred bucks. Uh, I don't know. So nothing here is like super, super expensive. The judgments might be. I think these are closer to like two hundred ish, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Um, and then yeah, so here are some more ultimate rares. Twin Twister Altees, Cyclone Altees, Scapegoat Altees. I just like my OTS Altees, to be honest with you. Um, and then lastly, actually, funny enough, this one thing that I didn't show you guys in the binder just yet is uh, over here. And it's the PSA 10 20th Anniversary Elemental Hero Neos. This card only came out in Japan, of course. And I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can see at an angle here. It has a 20th Anniversary logo right there. The card looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, so the PSA 10. I actually won this on auction on eBay for like half the price of what it's actually worth. So these go for about, when I, when I picked it up at least, it went for about like $250 around that when I picked it up. And I got it on auction, someone put it on auction and I ended up getting it for like a hundred bucks. So I was not gonna say no to that. I like finding auctions like these because if people are not interested or people just don't see it, then you get really good deals. And yeah, so I ended up getting a really good deal on this. Again, I'm not super into the PSA stuff, but I think this card is absolutely stunning. I actually wanna send off a bunch of cards to PSA, which I'll do in another video as well. But uh, yeah, so here's the PSA 10. The, the fact that it's a 10 is just what gets to me. I think this card just looks absolutely stunning. The Starlight Rare on this is really nice. So yeah, that, that's really it for the collection. This is the Elemental Hero Collection. It's not obviously finished just yet, but um, yeah, this card, like this, this whole thing is just very important to me. It's very valuable. And if I ever lost this, there goes, I guess, around $10,000, I mean, it, I, I don't know if it's ten thousand dollars. I'm just I'm just saying that's like an approximate because last time I did this, it was about five thousand dollars, I believe, a little bit more than five thousand dollars. And I've definitely added uh, at least a couple thousand dollars since then. And then if you include these two, this is like another two hundred bucks. This is like another hundred fifty or something like that. I don't know. This there's some good value in here. But regardless of the value, I'm not doing this for the value. I'm doing this for like my own collection and my own like you know. This I love this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, that's that's the collection so that is it for the collection video like there you go there's literally about ten thousand dollars worth of cards in this binder and this is like one of my most prized possessions if you're also including the psa cards that you guys can see right over there in the back but yeah th this is literally my most prized possession i'm so like proud and stuff to own this and it's not about how much it's worth more than anything it's really about what I want to collect and what means a lot to me in this game and really for any collectors like it doesn't have to be really expensive stuff for you to enjoy it really right this happens to be kind of expensive unfortunately whatever it is what it is but uh as long as you guys enjoy what you're collecting along you guys enjoy what you're doing that's really all that matters so make sure to like the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy that's really all i gotta say i hope you guys enjoyed it as well and with that spanko signing out peace